Hello BookTube! Welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and this is my second BookTube video. Now I'm excited to show you this book haul today. I've had it in a bag since late May and I knew that I wanted to make videos but I just had such a crazy month of June that I didn't have time. So I'm finally getting to it. It is a book haul that I purchased at the Scholastic Warehouse book sale. Now, you may not have ever been to a Scholastic Warehouse book sale, but let me tell you, it's pretty exciting. We're here in Central Florida, and we are blessed to have a, a warehouse north of Orlando. Now, we live south of Orlando, so it's about an hour a, one way for us to get to the warehouse, but it's well worth it. Once a year, they open the warehouse to anyone who is affiliated with the schools to be able to go in and shop for any from any of the leftover books that are left from all of the book fairs that Scholastic has throughout the school year at all the different schools. So you also get a coupon. You have to sign up in advance. You can't just show up. You sign up in advance and you get a coupon for either $10 off of $50 or $25 off of $100. Now my daughter and I went two years ago and we so we kind of knew what to expect. Now in once you go in there are aisles and aisles and aisles going from floor to ceiling of books that you can pick from. They also have an area that's partitioned off called a Build-A-Box area. So two years ago when we went, we did do the Build-A-Box. Basically, you can take any of the books and items from that area, fill up a box that they give you, and it's $25. So between that plus the few books that we got from the other aisles, we uh, my total was a little over 50 and so I got $10 off of that and we came home and added it up and it was almost $250 worth of books if you added up the uh, original retail price. So it was really a neat deal. So this year we went and we didn't do the Build-A-Box. We looked in it, there was only one, one or two books I kind of wanted and I did end up getting one of those. They said you can still get books from that area, they're half price. And so we didn't actually build a box, but I had a shopping list. So we went up and down the aisles and I was able to find really just about everything that I really, really wanted and a lot of other things that I didn't know I wanted. And it was a lot of fun. It was hot, but um, you know, it's a warehouse. So it is what it is. The first set of books I got were the Lunar Chronicles. Uh, these were top on my list. I had wanted to get these at the book fair at my daughter's school. She's read them and I've listened to them on audio. Uh, even my husband has listened to Cinder on audio. And even at our book fair, Scarlet was already marked down to $4. It had um, a big red sticker here that said $4. Now we found out when we got there that any book that had a red sticker were, was being sold at a half off of that. So that made Scarlet $2. And a Crest was $4.50 and Cinder was $4. So the whole set was really an amazing deal. I did pass on Ferrest. They had Ferrest, of course, in hardback. And I decided that there were so many other books that I wanted to get and I had and to stay within my budget, I didn't want to get that because it was only 20% off of the original retail price. And so I passed on it. Another series that was on my list were, uh, was the Selection series. Now Katie's already read these. I have not read any of them and I'm looking forward to reading them. Another series that I wanted um, is the Matched series. Now, so I got Crossed and I got Reached. All of these are by Ali Condi and I was really excited to get them. Reached turned out to be the most expensive book that I got of the day. It was $9. Another series that we got two of, um, we call these the Moon Books. I don't really know what the name of the series is, but this is the second one, The Dead and the Gone, and the third one is The World We Live In. They're by Susan Beth Pfeffer, and I read the first one, which is Life As We Knew It, and there's also a fourth one, so, um, Katie's already read all of them, but she said this was something that she would like to read again. This is a series I was looking for the first one of. The series is Confectionately Yours. They are by Lisa Papa Dimitriou. We have book two and three that I have found at book sales and I got them because I just think they're really, really cute. And Katie would like to read them too, but we didn't have book one. So they did have book one at the warehouse and they also had book four, which is called Something New. And we, we got both of these so that now we have the first four in the series and now we can read them. 
Uh, this was a book that Katie had wanted to get at her book fair at her school, and it's a, a only available in hardback. It's called Honey by Sarah Weeks. Uh, she had also read Pie by Sarah Weeks and has a copy of that. It's one of the uh, one of her favorite books. So she thought that this would be a really good book. And I decided to splurge a little bit. It also was kind of pricey since it was hardback. But um, I figured since I got myself a couple of hardbacks, I should also get one for my daughter, right? She also wanted to get a Minecraft book. This is the Essential Handbook. She's really into Minecraft, as I know a lot of you are. This was our least expensive book of the day. It was 50 cents, The Puzzling World of Winston Breen by Eric Berlin. And Katie had tried reading this a couple of years back and for some reason just didn't get it finished and had to check it back into the library, but she always wanted to pick it back up. And it's probably below her reading level now, but I thought it looked like a fun book too. And so when we saw it for 50 cents, we thought it would be worth it to go ahead and get it. And this was the book that we did get from the Build-A-Box section. So it was half off of the $3 price. So that um, so for $1.50, I thought it was a good deal. It's an insider's guide to the world of uglies by Scott Westerfeld. Um, you can see the title, Bogus to Bubbly. And so I guess it's some sort of a companion book to the Uglies series. We've both read Uglies. We have a copy of Pretties. Haven't read it yet. Eventually we'll get to it. So for $1.50, I thought I should go ahead and pick this up. Well, three other random books. Uh, we got Chomp by Carl Hyacin. Carl Hyacin is one of our Florida authors that we like to read. He's got four or five books for young readers that I have enjoyed. Uh, Chomp I have read, uh, Scat, Flush, Hoot. Hoot was made into a movie, and there's one other one, I think. So these are really good books, and Katie had not read any of them, so they had this one, and we thought we'd go ahead and pick it up. Now, on a note, though, Carl Hyacin has a lot of books for adults, and they, they're really good. The storylines are really good, and I enjoy them. However, the language is really, really foul. Um, he has a lot of characters that have really filthy mouths. So just be aware if you pick up a Carl Heisen book and it's not one of the kid books, it's going to have some rough language in it. Another book we picked up is Half Upon a Time by James Riley. This uh, was one of our Florida Sunshine State readers for middle school this year. This was one that neither of us read and both kind of wanted to, so um, so we picked it up. And there are two more in this series. I think Twice Upon a Time and Once Upon the End. So eventually we'll get to the rest of those. Another book we got was The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. Now I just finished the um, Heroes of Olympus series on audiobook just last month and well I guess it was in May and I really loved that whole series and since I've read all the Percy Jackson books and read uh, all of the Heroes of Olympus I thought I would go ahead and give the Kane Chronicles a try and this is book one of the Kane Chronicles now I had already ordered this book on Playway from my library and it was taking forever to come so I went ahead and got this then of course the my Playway came. If you're not familiar with Playaways, they're an audiobook on and basically I guess it's an MP3 player and it's just the book. That's all that's on this and you plug in your headphones. Um, then you push power, push play, you can, you know, fast forward, you can adjust the volume, you can even speed it up and it's just really handy to be able to stick in your pocket if you're going to go running or walking or do housework or whatever you're doing or even in your car and I think these are great. They are pretty pricey to purchase but you can get them from libraries and they are really handy to have. Just don't lose them because I think they're about $100 to replace. So. Uh, take good care of it if you borrow it from the library. I'm a fan of the 39 Clues and I've read all of the first uh, first 10 books, the first series, and at least two of the Vesper series. Then I didn't know that there was a book 11 in the original series called Vesper's Rising, so I had to get that. And then this is also part of the original series. It's book 7 called The Viper's Nest, um, so it was half off of $5, so it was definitely worth it to get. The last few books I have are Star Wars related. Now I wouldn't say that I'm a big Star Wars geek, although I am old enough that I saw the original movie in the movie theaters three times. I don't know how I managed to go three times because I was 20 miles 
from the nearest movie theater. But I was in junior high when it came out, and I really, really loved it. So I found this book. This is, um, it's called, it says, Star Wars, uh, Star Wars A New Hope, The Life of Luke Skywalker. And it's got this beautiful cover here, and here he is with Darth Vader. But it's an unusual cover because it's like a DVD cover. So the book slides out of it, and then you have this cover. What's that glaring? Sorry. And the back side here he is in the land speeder. And um, it's really, really neat. Four other Star Wars related books. This is the Origami Yoda series by Tom Engelberger. Book one. Let me get them right. The Strange Case of Origami Yoda. And that's the first one. And I don't have the second one. But I think this is book three. The Secret of the Fortune Wookiee. And then book four five surprise attack of job with a puppet that book six princess label maker to the rescue so these are just really fun katie had no interest in getting these she said mom i think i'm too old for those books and implying that i was too old for these books but you know i don't care i just think they're fun they're they've got a lot of illustrations a lot of fun things kind of like diary of a wimpy kid and uh tom engelberger also wrote the fake mustache which i have read and it's a lot of fun so i think i'm going to enjoy these and the fact that it has a, a star wars theme just is a bonus so i'm looking forward to reading those well that is my scholastic book haul i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you'll subscribe come back and see me i hope to get more videos up soon i'm still really new at this so i apologize if my lighting and everything is off a little hope to see you again and read a good book and god bless you